So today's lesson is all about how to have an amazing experience within you in a state of meditation. So why would we want to learn how to meditate? What's the purpose of meditation? Well, for starters, um, meditation may not necessarily be what you think it is um, because it's so much more than anything that we can really wrap our minds around. Um, meditation is a way for us to explore our divine nature. Okay, it's a way for us to find the God source within us. And if we can learn how to stop the mind, which is essentially what meditation is about, it's bringing the mind into a place of total stillness, where there's no movement, there's just a sense of presence, and this complete unfocusedness of the mind, where the mind just stops focusing, then you'll see that the divine source of who you are just naturally bubbles up. It's just something that happens on its own accord. So there's a lot of different techniques and tricks to get into this deep connected space where you're feeling this oneness with the universe and the mind's not in the way, there's a sense of unity, a sense of peace, a sense of total tranquility of all beings, with, with all beings in this universe. So to get there, it really takes this complete relaxation of your body, okay? So you got to start with the body. And sometimes what I've found is that if I try to meditate and my body just wants to move, wants to do something, or my mind is active, my mind is really busy, wants to get something done, then I just need to go exercise my body or do sit-ups or push-ups or run or yoga or something where you know I'm either running up a mountain or something where I can just spend that energy out. And it may only take 15 or 20 minutes of really pushing the body, and then I can just sit and it's so much easier to drop in to this place of quietness where the mind chatter is not there. Okay? So that's one trick that you can do to help you to meditate, to learn how to quiet the mind chatter. Okay? So practice slowing down as well throughout your day. Um, you know, if you're rushing through life, it's like an act of violence against your soul. Okay? And also, like if we're rushing, it means that we're, we're buying into the illusion of what's real and what's not real. Okay, we're like attached to the world and things that are one day just going to be gone. Okay, you're a spiritual being and this is a temporary experience. And so look at what's not temporary. Look at what's permanent. Okay, that's your essential nature. And once you discover that, then you'll see that it's, it just all makes sense. It's like complete clarity comes to you. Okay? So, one little practical aspect that I found helps with just sitting, um, you know, after your body is really learning how to relax and quiet down. If, it's, if you need to move it, then you can just sit, right? So, if you, if you, if you sit on a cushion that's like three to five inches, puts your, your um, body up, you know, a little bit higher, then you don't necessarily sit on your feet and your, your feet don't fall asleep and you can sit for a much longer period of time. Which, um, what I found is that if you can just sit still and not move, not do anything for like, you know, 45 minutes, well, your ego is going to have to take a back burner and just relax because uh, it doesn't want to do that. It, it wants to be busy, it wants to be productive, it wants to be in charge. And so you're going to actually become in charge. You're going to see what's the ego and what's who you really are. Okay, the, the real source. And um, so, if you can't sit for that long, you know, um, you know, try doing a little bit of movement and coming back. But um, just give yourself some time to just settle into your body and sit as if you were going to sit for like three months and not move. Okay, it's that kind of presence and just really being grounded like a mountain. And uh, you'll find that you just, you know, 
let go of all the things that your mind's busy about doing. Okay? So you can sit in a chair or you can sit on the floor, you know, cross-legged. If you do, then use that cushion and um, it'll help you to just uh, keep the spine straight so the energy can just flow and you don't want to you don't want to do any efforting with the body. This is about letting go of the body. Sometimes I find it's really helpful to lean on something where you can just um, let the body relax at the foot of the bed and just lean into the foot of the bed and just, you know, um, let go. Okay, so there's no real efforting to try to keep it straight. That um, is totally, it's, it's not helping you to just let go of the body completely. Okay? So take about three to five minutes um, when you first sit to just go through your body and, and feel, <coughs> excuse me, feel where it's holding tension. Okay? Because there's certain places in the body that are going to be more tight, more tense. They're going to be uh, where the mind is, is wrapped up around certain issues from the past, certain memories, traumas, um, belief systems they get trapped in your body and so that you can feel them there's there's a subtle tension that's in there and you just need to just relax through it and use your breath breathe through those places of tension until your body is completely let go so you know on some level you do need to do some deep internal work maybe um, work with someone who can help you to relieve some of these core emotional issues from the past, things that are bothering you, these belief systems, these traumas, whatever it is, so that you can actually just sit in your body and be completely empty um, and still. And, and you'll see that over time, you know, these karmic issues or whatever they are, they'll start to bubble up and you'll start to be full of anxiety or your mind will start churning and thinking and you won't really truly relax. So. Um, it's important to, to work on both sides, to, to really sit in stillness and also do a lot of self-inquiry and, and look inside to see where you're stuck and where you're um, you know, still trapped in some conflict within you. Okay? So it's all about finding inner peace. Okay? When you find inner peace, you're going to find the greatest thing in the world. Okay? You're going to find the greatest power to be able to create and manifest whatever it is that you want. Okay, believe it or not, it's not so much about doing as it is about undoing and letting go of all of this mind chatter and this efforting of the ego that's trying to get from A to B to Z to become somebody or something, to acquire something, and all for what? Just so that you can be happy and have inner peace, sense of abundance, right? You can have that right now by diving into the God source that's already inside you, okay? So this is a faster way to enlightenment than to like get all the things that you, your ego wants and then see how you feel later. Now this is, this is here now, right? You don't have to wait. So take some time when you're sitting to just, you know, allow yourself to be present to your breath, okay? And if you need something to help you, you know, get the mind to be quiet, then I'd recommend either using a mantra or a sound that you repeat. And it just helps the mind to stop, okay? It's sort of like a taxi cab. Um, when you take it somewhere, you leave the cab, right? You don't bring the cab with you into the destination. So the mantra or the technique that you're using to get the mind to stop is just like that taxi. So you just, you just want to use it for a certain amount of time and then you'll see that you don't need it anymore. Okay, that you can just sit and just drop right in without the mantra. Okay, into the deep silence and deep stillness that is already at the very core of your being. That's the most beautiful thing in the world is is to find out what's at the very, very central core underneath the, all the fears and worries and, you know, hesitations and all those things that, that are in the way of allowing you to just find the truth of who you are. Okay? So you can focus on a candle flame or your heart or your breath, a sound, anything 
will help to what I call is train the monkey mind and it's kind of like a drunk crazy monkey uh, is what it's like because it just just pulls at you the mind will just try to go everywhere and anywhere that you don't want it to go and so you kind of have to tie a rope to its neck and tether it to something like you know the, the your eyes are focused on one thing okay or your attention is just you know focused on the the sound of the mantra or or something perhaps physical or internal where you can you know really let go um, of trying to always control the mind that that technique will help you to grasp the mind okay and eventually over time that uh, crazy drunk monkey will get it that it's no longer running the show and that you're here to tame it and train it and master it and you know if you you know master that monkey it'll do whatever you tell it to do okay it'll be quiet it will create whatever you want to create in life as well okay so it's pretty powerful in fact it's the most powerful thing that you've got is your mind and uh, your ability to to work with it depends on how successful you'll be at whatever you attempt to do with your life okay so so just watch the mind you know don't buy into it you know it's just a bunch of thoughts that are being kicked up from everything that you've been fed your entire life so it's not even really yours it's just it's like inherited so it's you know it's not something that you just want to um, you know cling to and say okay this is my mind and my thoughts and this is my personality and all that you know what it's it's not even yours really if you can just step back from it that far um, all of this is something that has been handed to you and through you um, and you'll see like as you get into relationships and whatnot that you tend to follow what your parents did and how you saw your parents interact so there's a lot of things that happen unconsciously that we didn't even realize you know, and, and especially when you get into, you know, conflict in certain relationships, you'll see, well, this is the same thing that, you know, somebody did to me back then, or and this is the same response that I had, and so there's patterns that we create, okay? And it's only until you become super conscious, which is really what meditation's about, to get super conscious of your programming, so alert and so aware that you're completely transcending and it's like a fire that just burns right through that mind and it's untouched it's unfazed okay that the the mind doesn't have a handle on you that monkey can't run the show it just is stuck to that one thing okay and um, so eventually you'll get to the place where you'll be so connected to your pure awareness to this pure consciousness that that becomes the post for which you tie the monkey to and you'll see that, that monkey just goes wherever you want to go okay so to get to this place of pure consciousness pure awareness it takes really dropping into this timeless spacious energy where the body is completely gone where you're just you don't even feel the body okay close your eyes you can just drop into this place where the body seems to dissolve Okay, when you relax enough, okay, and you can let go of all your agendas and everything that you are afraid of and everything that you want to do or don't want to do, everything that you, you don't want to see about yourself, I mean, you don't appreciate about yourself, and all those unconscious things that you don't want to look at inside, they're still there, right? And they'll always be there until you meet them and greet them and welcome them, love them, and then you'll see that hey they're always there to help you to wake up and become a, a brighter more loving human being okay so everything has a purpose okay there's nothing inside of you that isn't the way it should be okay that's there for a very specific reason and you'll see that the more that you resist it the more it persists if you welcome it if you allow for it then it suddenly dissolves okay and it goes for the same thing with any technique as far as meditation as trying to meditate you know don't try to meditate that's probably the the worst thing you can do it's just sitting and being with what is it's just relaxing 
into what is here right now and allowing for it to be here, okay? Resting as the source itself. Not just the source in this body, but the source of the universe, right? Resting is that. That's what meditation is really about. So you're getting a picture here about how big it is. And, you know, it's something that you see these, you know, these yogis sitting in caves for years, and you're like, what are they doing? Well, they have completely transcended the body, and they're in this total state of divine union where they're completely connected to everyone and everything all the time. Okay, and of course they probably have their karma to work out, otherwise they wouldn't necessarily be in a physical form still. Okay, but they are, you know, just like you and me, they are learning how to work with their internal battles. Right, the things that they're holding on to, their issues, um, could be past life stuff, karmic stuff. We don't know necessarily what it is until you, you go in and look at it and then you really investigate. You'll find out more by just directly looking at what it is that you're facing. Okay, so that the purpose of meditation on, on the concentration element is that the more you can focus on one thing for a longer period of time, then that allows you that strength inside you to hold your attention on say something that may be really subtle inside of you that is an old old issue that may just sort of escape if uh, you are not able to really hold on to it and concentrate on it and dive into it like with a laser just keep going through it um, so so meditation on the on when you're concentrating on something then you can you know get that muscle uh, uh, strengthened uh, and then meditation on the other aspect which is uh, just about completely not concentrating anything, just completely staying unfocused, right? This unfocusedness that you're experiencing pure presence, pure spaciousness, this sense of infinity, eternity, where it's totally timeless, okay? When you get to that stage, right, when you sit long enough, and this may take you days or months or years, you know, depends how much you really want it. You gotta really want it and you gotta really want to let go of everything your ego says is important. Okay, to really sit and find this stillness inside. Uh, but once you get to that place of this, this deep spaciousness, this infinity, it's beautiful. It's, it's the most cosmic, uh, amazing experience that it's so blissful that you, you can't put words on it. Like if I try to describe it to you, it's always going to fall short to what the actual experience really is. So, so that gives you an idea of why so many people around the world, you know, are just sitting and doing their mantras or whatever. You know that they're they're after this. They they want to experience this state of complete freedom. Okay. So, so look inside and see right now. Like just, you're looking at this video. Look inside. But who's looking at this video? Right? What is that that is watching me here talk to you? Okay, this awarenessness, right? Okay, keep your attention on that. All right, don't let your attention go anywhere else. Okay, all day long, hold this all day. Let your whole day become a meditation. Whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, put your attention back on that, which is witnessing this. Okay, the observer, right? Who's listening? right? Who's perceiving, right? Take your attention deeper inside to that place where it's this infinite source of awareness. And when you can drop into this state and really be aware, okay? You're not trying to be aware anymore. You just are this pure awareness itself, okay? When you really tune into that, you'll see that something very, very magical happens inside you where you get this experience of unboundedness, freedom, okay, of infinite potentiality where anything becomes possible. Okay? You, you no longer are limited by your imagination okay, or the beliefs in your mind or the mind itself. You're not limited by anything. There's something that goes way beyond the mind. And it's right here. It's right inside you. It's super, super powerful. 
Okay, don't underestimate this because it is what is going to liberate you from all of your suffering in your entire life. Okay? So check it out. Sit with it. Be with it. You know? Take time to devote your life to it so that you can discover the truth of who you are, the divinity of who you really are. Okay? And, you know, bow down to yourself. Love yourself. Honor yourself. You are the divinity itself. It is in all things. And you are one of those things. So just accept it. And, you know, take time to just honor this divine presence and you'll see that everything just unfolds magically as it should. Okay? So take care, my friend. Be well. And uh, thank you for listening. Okay.